Fiona Horla. Uh, I want to obviously commend Deputy Brown for bringing forward this motion. It's a very important motion, uh, and to confirm my support for the motion and indeed the Sinn Féin amendments. Um, I think it is important to say that you know we have come a long way. Um, I, can, I think of my own parents, both of whom were psychiatric nurses, who started in the service way back in the early 1930s uh, at St Luke's Hospital in Clonmel, then known as a lunatic asylum, uh, with, at its height, over 1,200 patients. So it was a diff very different place uh, than obviously today. My dad, when he joined, he, I joined as a warder. There were, there were no nurses. Uh, he obviously qualified afterwards, uh, as did my mother, uh, but restraint was the uh, treatment of the time. And indeed, he often uh, said that he regretted um, the restraint that they had to use in those very early days. Uh, but that generation too was a gen generation that started challenging the whole idea of uh, and the whole area of stigma around mental health. Uh, for instance, uh, they, that was the generation that removed the huge walls around uh, psy uh, psychiatric hospitals, uh, took down the gates, uh, welcomed the community in, invited the community in uh, to the hospital. I remember well on the grounds of St Luke's Hospital, there was a local uh, pitch and put club, uh, and the um, the public uh, were, as I said, invited in, and patients uh, began to go out into the community, began to go for on day trips, went to the cinema, went to, 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 to circuses, uh, and um, eventually uh, some patients uh, would live in independent lives in, uh, in, in houses in, within the, commu in the community. Uh, and that, that, was, uh, that was, I suppose, the beginning of the whole idea of community-based services. Uh, and say, certainly the, the staff in uh, the whole mental health area, both past and present, uh, are absolutely ex uh, uh, exceptional. Uh, but of course, the present staff are under huge pressure, as we all know. Uh, huge pressure of, of lack of staff, pressure of underfunding, uh, and um, uh, as a result of that, it's very difficult uh, to retain staff and to recruit staff. Um, I think it's important also to uh, you know, refer to the various um, volunteers who work in this area. They do, uh, they do huge uh, and valuable, uh, valuable work, and in our own area, um, organisations like um, uh, seesaw, um, suicide, pre uh, suicide uh, prevention workers, the River Shore Suicide Patrol, uh, and uh, and Taxi Watch, um, those and indeed very many others, and another uh, very many others, as I say, right right around the country. But I think it's important that we recognise that the work they they, they do uh, in this area. Um, it's absolutely essential, and um, uh, and obviously they should be supported. I want to acknowledge too uh, Minister Daly's involvement in this area, and particularly his engagement with, with uh, local issues on the ground, and indeed uh, his approval of the jigsaw project uh, for Tipperary. And I've spoken to the jigsaw people recently, uh, and we will very shortly uh, be meeting with them to discuss the uh, implementation of that programme on the ground in Tipperary. But I suppose it's a question of um, a lot done, but an awful lot more, uh, an awful lot more to do. And there's no doubt that the report of the Mental Health Commission, and indeed report on uh, reports on individual acute units, uh, you know, these reports are very, very disturbing. Uh, and they're, I suppose, they're just particularly disturbing against the background of increasing mental health issues in the community generally and particularly uh, among young people where uh, self-harm and suicide uh, are increasing as, as an alarming rate. Um, I suppose there are, it's, it's also um, disturbing to see those reports when we do in fact have a blueprint, we do have a strategy and we do have a plan for a seamless mental health service. 
uh, and that plan is there since, uh, as we all know, since 2006, uh, the vision for change. But unfortunately, um, that, um, that vision for change document hasn't been uh, implemented even 13 years later. Uh, and it was a very far-seeing report, and I suppose it may well have been a bit before its time, but it was certainly far-seeing, and it dealt with all the various areas, uh, uh, you know, the whole question of early intervention, of 24-7 services, community care, of talk therapies, of day care, of crisis services, of accident emergency service, and indeed of, 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 of acute beds. Um, and it's, it certainly is a pity uh, that, those, uh, that that report um, hasn't been implemented and wasn't implemented over the last uh, uh, 13 years. Um, and, and certainly I believe that is, uh, it's the key. That report uh, is the foundation stone and is the key for putting together and putting in place uh, good quality uh, health services for, for the community. I just want to refer... I know, I know the Minister is aware of it well, but I, want, I need to refer to the situation in Tipperary, which is um, particularly difficult since the services were devastated back in 2012 with the closure of the acute unit uh, at St Michael's uh, in, uh, in, in Clonmel. Um, and that unit, uh, when that unit closed, South Tipperary patients were uh, sent to Kilkenny, North Tipperary patients to Ennis. Um, those units were overcrowded already. Uh, they weren't fit for purpose, and indeed, the Kilkenny unit uh, has um, has been prosecuted and convicted uh, uh, in recent times, um, uh, following a mental health commission uh, report. We also find that it's very difficult uh, for. To South Tipperary patients to be admitted to that unit, and when they are admitted, uh, uh, there's early discharge of patients. And of course, the whole question of family support um, because of travel, uh, you know, is is almost non-existent. And certainly, uh, family support is is key to um, helping patients uh, improve and um, recover. Uh, in this situation. We also uh, were promised at the time, of course, a Rolls Royce community service, but of course that didn't happen either. Uh, and we now have uh, community teams which are significantly understaffed. Uh, and for instance, the, there's currently 19 uh, nursing posts uh, vacant and, uh, and uh, quite a number of healthcare professional posts vacant as well. We were promised a, cri a new crisis house uh, and seven years later, uh, we appear to be no near uh, to that either. Uh, and, and of course, um, as other speakers have said, there's particular difficulties in relation to um, patients with mental health issues attending the accident emergency departments of our general hospitals. There's a whole question of uh, young people um, and their admission to adult ward wards. Uh, and in our case in Tipperary, we had a situation not so long ago where a third of our paediatric beds were taken up by uh, young people with uh, mental health uh, issues. So, Minister, these are some of the issues that, are, um, that affect uh, Tipperary, uh, and certainly these, they're, they're issues that need to be addressed and addressed urgently. Uh, and, of course, the, the bigger picture uh, in relation to the, the country as a whole um, obviously need to be addressed as well and I think uh, that the uh, vision for change document should be the foundation of that. Thank you.